The next viral decor that we're gonna test out are all these fun little molding shapes that you see people use with tapered candles. Tapered candles have made a comeback. They've been out for a while, but now they're back. So I thought it'd be fun for us to try out this trend. I have some clay molding left over from whenever I made those chain links, if you guys saw that video. So we're gonna use that. I picked up the tapered candles at Walmart. They were 77 cents each. And I was gonna get some cookie cutters and a rolling pin, but I'm using stuff that I found around my craft room. I have a little dowel rod that we're gonna use. And I need to cut out a triangle, so we're gonna try to use this. And we're gonna try to use this to cut out my circle. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna attempt to roll them out and cut circles and triangles. So we'll see how that goes. So I actually want my dough to be pretty thick. So I'm only going to roll it out till it's about one inch in thickness. I think we're going to attempt to cut out our triangle first. I'm going to use this and I'm just going to slice down as straight as possible. I think that looks pretty good. It's not like a really crisp edge, but I think it'll work. The task is going to be making a second triangle and trying to get it. Maybe we'll make a second circle and see if we can make that work. All right, so now we'll just figure out where we want the bottom to be. Okay, so it's not even on all sides. I think I can come back in and cut off a little bit more on some of the sides that look a little long to me. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, so then the next step is to make sure that your tapered candle is going to fit in the center. So I don't know if this is gonna require that we cut it out or if we could just stick it in there. We'll see. My Walmart didn't have a huge selection in candle color. You may have to go somewhere like Hobby Lobby or buy them on Amazon. I think the Walmart I went to only had gray, blue, white, and like a burgundy. I'm just gonna try to kind of smush it down and see if that works. Like we're gonna have to make it big enough so it'll stand up. I think that actually works. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this one set up overnight. It dries to the touch overnight and then within 72 hours, it'll be completely dry. So let's try to make our circle now because I think that one looks pretty good. So I'm gonna try to make them the same thickness this is a little thin, so I don't think I wanna go any farther. So let's see if this works. I don't know, you guys. All right, so I'm just taking, this is painter's tape. I'm just gonna push it down. <laughs> I'm gonna kinda push it on the back to see if we can push it through. If you had a cookie cutter, it'd probably work better, but I'm kinda using what we have. Okay, that didn't work so great. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trim off the excess before I pull it out. I think if it was a cookie cutter, it would have cut it cleaner, but it created a circle for us. You can kind of see my nail mark there. So I'm just gonna try to smooth that out. I don't think it's a bad circle. I think that's pretty, pretty good. All right, so we'll do the same step. We're gonna stick our candle down in the clay. Now I hope whenever these dry that they will hold those in place. All right, so we need to make three. So do we make another triangle or circle? I think another circle would actually look better on the other side. I don't know if I have enough clay here. Let's try it. Maybe I can do a better circle this time. I do think this Crayola Play-Doh clay, what do they call it? Model Magic, I think it's really easy to work with. So I've bought some others and I do prefer this one. Okay, that looks good. Okay, then I'm just gonna go in and trim around the edges. 
So to make the three of those, I only used one container of the Model Magic. I'm gonna let these dry overnight. Tomorrow I'm gonna come back and paint them and then I'll show you the final reveal. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.